Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in. My name is Everpresent. In game, you may know me as Loon. I wanted to make a quick, quick video that shows new players or existing players how to install the UO server files, how to install the Orion client, um, and how to get set up with Orion in order to launch onto UO RPG. First of all, before we get started, there's three files that would need to be that'll need to be downloaded: the uh, UORPG server files, the Orion launcher installer, and you'll need to have 7-Zip installed or downloaded, downloaded and installed rather. I'll provide links to all three of these in the comment section below the video. So I've downloaded the three of these already, and um, so we didn't have to watch me download them during the video. And so I'll proceed from here where they're in my download folder. We're going to start by going to the Ultima Online ATS, right click, and under 7-Zip, select to extract here. Then we're going to move this file wherever we want. Uh, not this one, this one right here. I'm going to move this to my games folder. OK, we see it right here. This is where the server files are. We can actually launch the server directly here, but uh, you won't have any of the functionality of Orion. So we're going to go back to our download folder. And we're going to run the Orion launcher installer. As soon as this runs and installs, it's going to start throwing error messages at us, and that's fine. It's important that we install it to the same directory as our game. And I don't even want it to be in this Orion launcher. I want it to be in the exact same folder here. Now, once it's done, it's going to ask me if I want to run Orion Launcher. I'm going to say no and click Finish. I'm then going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to run the Orion Launcher as an administrator. Sometimes there's issues where if you don't run it as an administrator, it will not be able to launch the client files. OK, so here's the first error message or first pop up, and it's telling me that uh, the folder with the UO files is not selected. I'm going to click OK and it's going to prompt me to select that folder. I'm going to go to Games, and I'm going to select that folder. Now it's saying there's no client version settings file in the selected UO file directory. It's wanting me to select which server we're going to play on. I'm going to select UO RPG, but this is probably going to throw an error message. Yeah, this is fine. We're going to click OK. Now it's saying it wants to know the path where the Orion files will be downloaded. We're going to select OK, and we're going to put that in the same path, in the same file right here. It's again saying there's no client version. It's again going to prompt me which server we're playing on. And I'll have to click URPG, and again, it's going to give me that same error. It's doing that because it doesn't know what version of the client it's trying to install over because it's not included with the server files. After this, we're going to make sure to be on the Updates tab of the uh, Orion Launcher. We're going to click Check Updates, and then it's going to show a list of all of the files that we need to update. We're going to click Apply Updates, and it's going to download those files. Now, if any of the files hangs up, you can click Cancel Download, and it'll continue to download the rest of the files. And then you can click Apply Updates again in order to re-download them. We want it to appear where there's no files listed in the Available Updates section. Once we've done this, we'll go back to Profile, and then we're going to click Configure the Client Version. Now we're going to select the URPG, and it should not error. Preset saved. So now we have our client version configured. From here, we want to add a profile. Which one? Of course, URPG. And here's where you'll enter your account information and your, your account name and your account password. If you're creating a new account, you can select what you want it to be right here. Like I'll just put testing ACT1234 and I'll select my password. 
and then I'll click OK. Once this is set up, you can click Launch or you can double click the profile. It's going to go right here and you're going to see the credentials loading in. On URPG, if uh, you log in with a new account for the first time, it attempts to create that account. And here we can see it's creating the account. At this point, we're at the character creation step. Um, from here, it's uh, about the type of game you want to play. And I'll continue and create some additional information and guidance on that in another video. But in short, that's how to install the UORPG server files, the Orion Ultima Online Launcher, and configure and get it set up. Reach out in our discords with any questions. We'll put the Discord servers in the comments as well. Thanks, y'all.